Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Hopefully I don't sound too bad right now. Um, if you saw my community post that I uh, did the other day, you'll see that I was um, kind of absent here on the channel because I got sick. So I've been dealing with a cold for like two weeks now and um, you know, I'm starting to feel a little bit better, but I do sound a little bit uh, nasally or like kind of stuffed up. So I'm sorry if that's annoying, but there's not a lot I can do about it um, right now. But yeah, that's why I've been kind of absent on the channel for the last two weeks. Um, and yeah, I've missed doing videos and stuff. So I'm back today with a cast video, as you can see. And I think I mentioned it, I don't, I'm pretty sure in a previous video um, that I wanted to do tiny makeovers from The Sims 3. And that's what we're doing today. This is the uh, Juan Goddard family from The Sims 3. They live in Sunset Valley. And I thought it'd be fun to kind of give their little, like, on the Sims wiki, like, their kind of household, uh, like, biography and kind of thing for each one. So, right now, we are doing um, Pauline Wan. And she is a pre-made young adult Sim residing in Sunset Valley, the neighborhood that was shipped with The Sims 3. She lives together with her fiancé, Hank Goddard. When the family is first played, she is 17 days away from aging up into an adult at the start of the game. Pauline and Hank think that they will be together forever, though it is difficult to get them to marry as they both have the commitment issues trait and aspire to be heartbreakers. She likes to hang out with friends and conversate about hopes and dreams that will never be fulfilled. She is good friends with Jamie Jolina, friends with Morgana Wolf and her fiance, and she has acquaintances with Thornton Wolf and her boss. She starts with two skill points in the athletic and guitar skills, and she is employed as a fan in the music career. She carries a guitar, a stereo, and two books, special snowflake, and commitment issues in her inventory. Her surname implies that she is of Chinese descent. Consequently, she may be related to Patricia Wan of the Wan household in The Sims 2 Seasons. They both have black hair and round faces. Pauline's traits such as party animal and flirty are similar to Patricia's popularity aspiration. And a picture of Pauline and Hank on the phone with each other appears on a billboard on the side of Divisadero Budget Books, which is like the bookstore in Sunset Valley. So that is Pauline's biography on The Sims Wiki. So she's in the music career. Um, there's kind of drama with these two because they are engaged, but they both have commitment issues. So that's kind of, and they have the heartbreaker aspiration. So... Um, yeah, I'm not really seeing the wedding bells ringing for their future, but they are engaged, so that's kind of, that's kind of tea. Um, I feel like they'd be, like, kind of a fun couple to play, like, with the Love Struck pack. I don't have that pack, but if someone did, I feel like this would be kind of an interesting couple to play with that pack. Um, but yeah, that's kind of her thing. Her favorites, um, are electronic music, sushi, and the color seafoam. And she has the traits flirty, ambitious, party animal, commitment issues, and loves the outdoors. So her and Hank share um, a couple of traits between each other. I think they're both ambitious and they both have commitment issues and they both love the outdoors. So they have things in common, but it just sounds like they're not at the point in their life where they should maybe be together because... You know, they clearly both have commitment issues and are kind of, you know, trying to be part of that party kind of lifestyle. So it doesn't sound like it's going to last very long. But um, I think let's look at their like joint kind of their household um, biography, because obviously when you go to play them in the game, you'll click on them and then it'll show like their family biography and not just like the individual ones. Um so this is the description that, um, if you clicked on them, that would come up. Pauline and Hank are certain that they will be together forever because they have so much in common. Parties, the beach, and music. The only question is whether they can maintain their lifestyle. And I do know um, that they live on, you know where like the main beach of Sunset Valley is? I know that they live like right on that beach. Um, so you can like kind of picture them having, you know, beach parties and stuff all the time and hanging out and like bonfires and stuff like that. Um, their house is like that white house with, I think, like the green roof. Um, and it's called Raggio del Sole, I think. But yeah, 
that's where they live. It's a nice two bedroom, 1.5 bathroom home. Um, and yeah, that's their kind of vibe. And we're getting to uh, Hank in a second. I'm just kind of like choosing clothes here. I was gonna put CC clothes on her, but then I was like, uh, I'm probably not gonna do that just cause uploading it would probably be easier if she's just wearing, you know, non-CC stuff. So I ended up choosing non-CC stuff, but she does have like accessories and stuff on. Um, like I think I gave her rings and nails and those are obviously CC. Um, you probably also saw earlier, I was gonna put her in pigtails because originally she has pigtails. But I decided to give her this hairstyle because I thought it was still like playful and youthful um, and kind of fun, which I think is like her vibe and everything being kind of like a party girl. Um, so I wanted to give her something that was kind of playful and youthful, but I didn't like the pigtails that much. I wanted to give her something different. I think it narrowed her face too much, um, like the way that the hair pieces were framing her face. So I went with this one and I like this one a lot more. So yeah. We went with this hairstyle with the braids. I thought it was really cute. And um, I feel like making Sim townies from like The Sims 3 and trying to make them in Sims 4 is kind of interesting because there's always things that I didn't notice about The Sims in Sims 3. And one of those things is like their eye color. I feel like that's always something that trips me up. And I think it's because in The Sims 3, The Sims peoples, like just with like the default like vanilla eyes, they're so big that I, you don't really like realize what eye color the sims have um unless like you like really like go in and like see what color selected in like cast or something um but it'll tell you like on the sims wiki like what their eye color is and i always get surprised because it always just looks like brown or like black because their pupils are just so like dilated and big it's kind of hard to see the color but yeah she actually has um, green eyes, and I thought she was gonna have brown eyes, but she has green eyes. And Hank, who I also thought had brown eyes, actually has blue eyes. So that's kind of interesting. But anyways, as you can see, we are now doing Hank Goddard. And let's go to his biography. So his biography says, he Hank Goddard is a pre-made young adult sim residing in Sunset Valley, the neighborhood shipped with The Sims 3. He lives with his fiance, Pauline Wan, when the family is first played, he is 18 days away from aging up into an adult at the start of the game. Hank and Pauline think that they will be together forever, though it is difficult for them to get to marry as they both have commitment issues trait and aspire to be heartbreakers. He is described as the typical beach bum, wearing a blue tank top with purple shorts and flip flops, and he and Pauline agree with his self-description of free like the wind. Hank is similar to Don Lothario and Hal Breckenridge. Hank is friends with Jamie Jolina and his fiance and is acquaintances with Thornton Wolf, his co-worker and his boss, usually Blaine Wa Wainwright and Justine Keaton, but no, not always in this order. He starts off with three skill points in athletic, two points in charisma, and one point in the guitar and logic skills, and he is employed as a traffic cop in the law enforcement career. He carries a guitar in two books, Charisma Volume 1, Fixing the Friend Problem, and commitment issues in his inventory if they marry hank will always take pauline's surname meaning that she was the one who proposed to him so that's kind of interesting um that they both have like commitment issues but and like the heartbreaker or lifetime wish but she actually proposed to him first um which i guess kind of goes with like the vibe of him being like a beach bum kind of thing like kind of free spirit with the flow and she's like oh like we should get married kind of thing um yeah, so that's kind of interesting. Apparently, he was actually originally named Gary Goddard, as seen as, as seen in the file name for his biography. So I guess it actually like says in his biography that he's Gary Goddard, but um, they ended up naming him Hank Goddard. So that's kind of interesting. Um, and in his like singular biography for himself, it says Hank describes himself as free like the wind, and his fiance agrees. Wait, is this going to work? <laughs> I don't think it is. I really don't. Um, okay. And then his traits are commitment issues, schmoozer, charismatic, loves the outdoors, great kisser. So they have a couple things in common with each other. And then his favorites are pop music, fish and chips, and seafoam color, which is the same as her favorite color. So yeah, they have things in common, but it doesn't sound like they have the desire to stay in a relationship. So I don't think this is going to work out, but um interesting couple um in this game they always have like 
interesting storylines, I feel like, in The Sims 3 with the townies. Um, there's not, like, that much kind of drama going on with The Sims 4 Sims, because they'll say, like, they have friends or whatever, but then they have, like, zero relationship um, with anybody, pretty much, um, in the way the game is shipped. So, yeah, I like that in The Sims 3 they have these relationships and, like, kind of drama and a storyline going on. But, yeah, I made them engaged, and uh, here they are in all their sims 4 glory so if you want to download these two the link will be in the description and i hope that you like this video hopefully i will be back uh with some more videos i don't know what it's going to be but it's going to be something so um keep an eye out for that and i will see you guys very soon bye <laughs>